I'm Napoleone, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. And today I'm going to show you how to attach the appropriate permissions in the resource policy of an AWS Lambda function that is the target of an Amazon Event Bridge rule created through the AWS CLI SDK or AWS CloudFormation. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon CloudWatch Console. From the navigation pane on the left, under Metrics, select All Metrics. Select the AWS slash Events namespace. Click on By Rule Name. Select Invocations and Failed Invocations metrics for the rule that you are reviewing. Click on the graphed matrix on the bar. If failed invocations data points are present, then there is an issue invoking the target. This is because failed invocations represent a permanent failure and may be the result of incorrect permissions or a misconfiguration of the target. For this reason, we must confirm if the appropriate permissions are attached in the Lambda function resource policy. Open the Lambda console. Select the target function. Select the configuration tab and then choose permissions. Under the resource-based policy section, review the policy document. The policy that allows EventBridge to invoke a Lambda function will look like the following. As you can see, my policy document is incorrect since in the AWS source ARN section, the rule forward slash is missing. Note that the region, account ID, function name, and rule name must be the appropriate ones. If the existing resource policy doesn't contain the necessary permissions, then you can update the policy into the AWS Management Console or by using the add permission command in the AWS CLI. The following is an example of the add permission command. If the events can be delivered to a target, then Evenbridge uses Amazon Simple Queue Services DLQs to store them. An SQS DLQ can be attached to the target reporting failed invocations. Subsequently, the events can be retrieved from the DLQ and analyzed to obtain more context on the issue. The steps to do the above are as follows. Open the relevant rule in the Evenbridge console. Under Targets section, select Edit. And then expand the Additional Settings section. Under the Dead Letter Queue heading, select Select an Amazon SQS queue in the current AWS account to use as a Dead Letter Queue. And then select an SQS queue to use it as a DLQ. When the DLQ is assigned, complete the remaining edit rule steps to save the changes made. And now you know how to attach the appropriate permissions in the resource policy of an AWS Lambda function that is the target of an Amazon EventBridge rule created through the AWS CLI, SDK, or AWS CloudFormation. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.